guys, this is Kim with Creative Crafticality, and today I have a Trash to Treasures video for you. This is what I made, and it is out of tin cans, a piece of wood, and an old belt that I had. So stay tuned, and I will show you how I did this. Alright guys, so the supplies that you will need for this project are a scrap piece of wood, and my scrap piece is five and a half this way by eight and a half this way. You will need six can empty cans, and I already had empty cans from another craft project that I had done with my daughter's elementary school. We made snowmen out of them, so they I already had them painted white. So what I did was I just took my wood and put them together on the wood and had my husband cut the piece off. And I don't even know what this was from. It was a piece we had in our garage. So, and it's about three quarters, maybe five eighths inch. Maybe, yeah, five eighths probably thick. So, you'll need six cans. I had four already that were already painted and then I picked up two more, or I had found one in my cupboard that I emptied that was old, and I picked up another can of beans for my daughter. So I went ahead and emptied them. I put like one coat of white paint on them just so they'll be primed like these are. You need some half inch screws, and I'm using wood screws. You need a paintbrush. The paint color of your choice, and I'm using my favorite, one of my favorite colors, which is the Waver, Waverly Peacock, and it is the Super Premium Semi-Gloss Paint, but you can do whatever finish you want. They have, this was from Walmart, and they have chalk paint in this, and they have glossy, they have every finish that you prefer. You need an old belt. So I went in my closet and I found this belt that I haven't used in like years and it just so happens to go along with my paint so I'm going to use that and that part is for the handle. You will need a screwdriver and it's a Phillips head. You will need a plastic bag or something to protect your surface that you're going to be painting on and then you need two three quarter inch screws or longer to screw in the handle on top after you after you've painted so I had these already at home and I'll probably just need to have my husband pre-drill small holes in here because these are not sharp at the end um, these I had to purchase because I didn't have enough and I'll need six of them, so I just went ahead and bought the kind that already had the point. And they were only 99 cents for a pack at Walmart. And I believe that's all I need right now. So first thing I will do is uh, go ahead and paint all my cans to the desired coverage. So if you are doing this project with me, go ahead and get your surface covered and your paint and your brush ready and I will put you on fast forward and paint all my cans. One more thing that you need to do is pre-drill a hole into each of the cans because you're going to be screwing into the middle base into the wood piece. So you need a hole in each one on one of the sides. The ones I already had painted white actually have holes on both sides because that's what I needed for my other project. So I'm mine will just have extra holes. I may tie like ribbons or something in there. I don't know. We used an eighth inch drill bit and just drilled a hole. It probably not quite a half inch from the top, a little over a quarter of an inch. So 
Alrighty, so now we will just get started and paint our cans. So I put two coats of paint on my cans and I really like how the coverage is on that so I'm just letting them dry and I'm moving on to now painting my piece of wood. My husband cut this for me and we sanded the edges so everything's nice and smooth so I just want to put, I'll probably end up putting just two coats on here. This paint really works well on coverage so even I had my cans, they were, some of them were painted the white and I added a coat of white on the ones that were not, but I think that if you didn't even paint your cans white before or with primer, that two coats of this, this paint would cover it, so it works pretty well. So I'm going to go ahead and paint my board and I will be back. All right, so my pieces are pretty much dry, so I'm lining up my cans on one side with the holes going right against the wood. And I have it up lined up the way that I want it. So I'm just going to take my half inch screws here, they're number six wood screws. And I started one here. This wood's pretty soft, so I was able to get it started in. I'm not going to go all the way in yet. I'm going to go ahead and get the other two started here. Alright, so I got all my cans screwed to the board and now I want to screw in my handle. I cut a piece from my belt. It's about nine, in nine inches long. So I'm going to start on one side. I want it to be, I want it to come up, have a little bit of a handle like that. So I think I will screw them in. I'm going to screw them in right here because there's like a little grommet thing there. So I'm going to screw it in right there with my end being about a half an inch from the end of the board. And I'll do that on both sides. Organizer is just about done. Everything is nice and dry. I let it dry overnight. And so the last thing I wanted to do was that I found a paper sack that I had that was in my bags that I had we had 
I think it was a bag from a restaurant or something. So I took a scalloped uh, flower dye that I had and cut out these labels and I used some gel pens that are turquoise and wrote on what I wanted each can to contain to organize my stuff. So I went ahead and wrote all those on there and I'm going to just glue these to the outside of the can. And if you if you had chalk paint you could you know paint some paper or cardstock with your chalk paint and then you could you know be able to reuse the labels but I plan on just I mean I'm going to be using this for a while so I just went ahead and used my markers onto the paper and if I decide to change them out later I can just add labels on top or pull these off and redo them or whatever so so what I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and glue all of these on and as I said before I had these holes in the cans on both sides so I'm going to be actually using these for to cover up that hole so I don't have to worry about that so I'm going to go ahead and glue these all on So here's the final product. Didn't it turn out great? I thought it turned out great. So I went ahead and put, filled it up with all my stuff. Well, it's not all of it. It's just some of it, the stuff that I use a lot. So I have a spot for markers, gel pens, paint brushes, scissors, colored pencils and watercolor pencils here. And then here is just like, uh, regular pens and my um, Sharpie black ink um, gel or glitter pen like the clear glitter and this is like one of those picker upper things for uh, rhinestones and pencils and things so I really love the way this turned out. So anyway, give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave me a comment, subscribe, and I will see you again next time. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality. God bless. Bye.